Hi guys, uh, today I bring another video regarding Dart for Tunnel. So there are some points to remember. Remember this question is very important for the exam. Always keep in the left side. Do not let side line. Draw with the clock. Let's start to draw a topographical exam question. Root. Basically, there are the four questions coming up and the exam. Two is the small root and two is the lowest root. And this is the large one and the 20 marks one. But you need to make sure it uh, to always keep another side, do not have the side line. And because you can make even three or four groups from this uh, one, but the people will have the most direct route. So make sure you draw the most direct route and the shortest route. So let's go to the starting point from the static point to the end point. So always keep in the left side. So I need to maximize that. Otherwise, you can't see properly. And focus on the cursor. When you focus on the cursor, you will see. I always keep on the left side. In a dual carriageway, you need to keep on the left side. And uh, one way you can uh, keep in the middle side is not proper at all. From this point, you can draw three routes, but I'm just trying uh, my best to get most direct route. This is what is the requirement of the TFS. So always go and uh, according to the clockwise but if you go against the clockwise you just pull the mark and always find out the blind spots uh, let me take to you the blind spots if you go to the blind spots and there is no entry point uh, you will waste your time so always keep plan before uh, here you can see this is the blind spot you cannot get in so you need to be come back again undo the cursor and draw them again so always make sure that you do not go to the blind spot if you draw the route for uh, nearly two minutes and when you find out and end of it the blind spot you need to delete or clear the route and again start to draw it so not this is the first roundabout not the second one is the third roundabout third roundabout and here is the first left and the roundabout when you take the first left and the B186 road you're gonna see this again roundabout is coming up so again is the first roundabout here is the first lift again and this is basically is the again is the see here this is the entry point to the Dartford tunnel so, so make sure that there's a two ways and one is coming out and one is getting from the one side one is from the northern one is from the southern side so now we approaching from the northern side to the southern side so always make sure it in the one way you can keep on the middle of the road so it's no problem at all but in the dual carriageway always make sure so keep on your own side left side basically here is so straightforward because this tunnel is so damn complicated but when you're going out from the tunnel it's a bit uh, tricky one so there you need to find out how you're gonna go out from the end point Maybe I'm drawing so fast uh, because I'm used to it. Uh, if you don't have that much uh, experience, you draw so quickly. You need a couple of hours to get trainings. When you do training with the memory map, it's so easy to draw any kind of a route. But you need to have a specific knowledge, specifically for the roundabout. There's some roundabout is very tricky. It just look like it's a roundabout. It's maybe it's a one-way system. So that's what you need to gain the knowledge accordingly here you can see when we exacting the point is same like a black wall tunnel so we are under the tunnel now we need to come out from the tunnel when you come back after the tunnel we will take the slip road if we take the slip road so do not worry about the line because we are under so we are just coming out on the bridge so when you're coming out of the bridge, the here is exactly the tricky one. And note this, the roundabout, you're not going to take first, you're not going to take second, you're going to take the third one. And after the third roundabout, you see the again roundabout is the first lift. Again in the roundabout is the no first one, no second one is the third one. Because all this is the there, you're going to see the end point. So we need to reach their end point now. You can properly view it is the end point is not the first one not the second one is the third roundabout here again is not the first one the first one you're going to see is the umber color you cannot go in this one this is a restricted line if you go to the head to z book you're going to see this is a restricted side 
Okay, so that's the end of the questions and let's check with the Google map, how is the Google map is drawing this question. So if you have the memory map, if you want to check with the Google map, just put in the entry point, uh, starting point or end point, you will find out the route from the Google as well. So let's find out this one with the Google, what the Google is doing it from the starting point to the end point. It looks like the same stamp to uh, like me. I do it for the most direct route. There's one another route as well in the blue one. This the uh, see I draw it the same route. And what is drawn by the Google as well. So this one is the most direct route and showing me the time as well. It's 14 minute journey. And uh, another one is see it has the long route. So they asking for this for the short route. So make sure it you draw the most direct route and you will get the maximum marks from the TFL. If you have any difficulty regarding the topographical, you can keep in touch. If you need a zero, and I have a website, so you can go there. You can do the mock test. There is a free mock test, 22 mock tests, and uh, you can prepare yourself for zero test as well. Thank you for watching, and still, if you need any help, you can keep in touch, and uh, I'll try my best to help you out with the topographical test. And uh, if you need anything, just.